You know, old school photography was all about that what? That physical print, you know? You, you capture the image and then you turn it into a physical print that you can put on the wall, you can send it into a magazine. Some type of physical print is what that capture was all about. But nowadays, nowadays it's about that digital image. You know, there's so much to do with the digital image and where you're publishing it is digital as well. Typically, you know, Instagram, online magazines, all kinds of different digital platforms that you're pushing your photography out to. There's a lot to be said for a printed physical image. A couple of years ago, I decided I was going to start printing my images more. And so I was sending my images away to different print services and they just always fell short. It's like no one actually looked at it and said, oh, the margin's off a little bit or the, you know, the ink smeared just a little bit or the paper's real curly. I don't know how that's gonna work out. It's like no one paid any attention to any of the details at all. And that's through multiple services. Now I know, uh, you know, you can definitely get a good print through, you know, most services once in a while, but who wants to go through, you know, uploading the image, purchasing the photo, getting it back and saying, it didn't come out right. You know, several days later, um, you know, I like things now. I'm a typical American, I want it now. And, you know, with a printer, I have control over all the details and I can make sure that it's right. If things aren't right, I can reprint, you know, and still have it almost instantly. So I went ahead and bought a printer about two years ago. It's the Canon Image Pro 1000. I did so much research into which printer to buy. I love Canon. I like the simplicity of it, but I also like the user interface behind everything that I've used with, you know, with a Canon brand on it. And after using the printer for about a year and a half, the printer is no different. Now, I don't have a big demand for printed images. Some of you guys do have a demand for printed images or publications of some kind. And so I wanna go ahead and walk you through the print process that I go through in Lightroom uh, to turn the image in from an edited image to a physical image, old school physical image. And the thing about a physical image is you get so much more out of it than you do a digital image. I don't care what anyone says, a physical image, it's like it almost brings it to life. Let me show you how I turn my digital image into a physical image with my Canon Pro Image 1000. Inside of Lightroom, I'm in the develop module. This is the, the area you're going to be whenever you're doing editing. You're bouncing from photo to photo to photo and doing the edits on those photos that you want to do. When you're complete with the editing process, you just go to the photo that you want to print. And in my case, it's going to be this one. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up here and click the print area. And so for the first time, if you've never done this before, you're going to go all the way over here to page setup and this gets started as far as which printer do you want to use? And, you know, assuming that you already have that printer set up, go ahead and select it for me. I'm using the Canon Pro 1000 series and it's already set up and I'm not using letter. I'm using a 17 by 22, which is right here. And I'm going to print it the normal way. I'm going to have scale at 100 percent and click OK. And you see what I'm going to have here. I got a 17 by 22, uh, you know, platform to work with here. Uh, 17 by 22, make sure it says that and the printer that you are using. Print settings, you click the print settings. And again, making sure that the right printer, printer is selected. How many copies, just your typical stuff. For me, this should be auto. I like to keep everything in auto whenever possible. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now, over here on the right side, this is so simple, okay? First thing we wanna do is I see that, you know, the, the photo is only taking up a little bit of the paper. Well, that's because of the cell size. So for the cell size here, we wanna go 17 
by 22. Okay, so that's the maximum that we can do. The paper is 17 by 22, but the cell size for a 17 by 22 photo after you allow for the margins is right here. And so now we'll go back up here. Now zoom to fill. What zoom to fill does is if the, the aspect ratio of the photo doesn't match the paper's aspect ratio, you can do zoom to fill. Now it's going to crop in on it just a little bit. Again, watch the difference. I'm okay with that in this case. I'm more concerned with my margins being even, and we'll address that in just a second. Rotate to fit. That changes it from portrait to landscape. And repeat one photo per page. I never really use it. I'm not doing bulk printing. You can put a border around the photo if you want and then change the thickness. Not a fan of that. And so here's where you change the margins. And for me, I want all even margins. So I'm going to go 0.25. And click this one and 0.25. Now, ah, it wants me to stay at 0.5. Uh, so I want to make it even. So I'm going to go 0 0.5, uh, 0.56. And there we go. So, okay, so we have the top and bottom margins even. But now we want to get the sides. And it's considering this the top, this the bottom, this the left, and this the right. Even though the photo is in a landscape orientation. For me, I want these margins to be even. Now, another way to adjust the margins, if you're a visual person, you can adjust them manually like this. You can see that the just above my mouse cursor there, the number, the inches changes as you drag that back and forth. And you can do that with all the different sides. For me, it's just simpler to go in here, touch it, 0.56, enter, click it, 0.56, enter. And now we have even margins all the way around the photo. Page grid, I don't use that. Uh, cell size, we've already done that. You can keep it square if you want to. Here's the different tools that you can use to kind of line the photo up. But I, again, I try to keep this as simple as possible. You can turn the rulers off if you want. Page bleed, margin cutter. I mean, just things to help you line the photo up for the most part. Uh, here is your watermarking or um, let's see. I, or you can put a background color on it. I, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, who's doing that. But, I mean, you may have a reason to put the uh, color on the background. Uh, you can do an identity plate, which is like your signature. For me, I, I think the best way of doing this is I made a Photoshop image and call it watermarking. So, if you look right here, here's my watermark. I can turn that on and off with a simple check mark. You can go into page options, so you can do numbers, page info, crop marks. Eh, not really going to be doing that on photos too much. You're gonna, you have photo info. Now this one's kind of cool. You can click the photo info. You can put your exposure information. See that? You can print your exposure information right there. Here's the other things that you can you can do a custom text if you want, which is pretty cool. I don't really get into that too much, although I like that exposure information. I may do that in the future. Okay, so your printer, it's already, uh, you can go to JPEG or you can go to the printer here. So if you just want to print a, you know, you want to export this into a file rather than a physical printer, uh, ver print version of the photo, you can do that. We we're talking about, uh, you know, digital images. That's how you keep it as a digital image with all of the effects that we're putting on here. So you'll keep your margins, you'll keep your watermark and all that. Print resolution, I like to click that. I like to do 300. So I'm going to keep that at 300. You can see it was at 242. Uh, so print resolution is the, you know, it's the detail. So I'm going to leave that at 300. Sharpening, print sharpening, I leave that at standard. Uh, typically, you want to add a little additional sharpening whenever you're going from digital to print. So standard is where I stay there. And it's a glossy paper. You either go glossy or matte. 16-bit bit output, I keep that checked. Color management, I... You know, unless you're using a really cheap printer, you want the printer to be in charge of this because the printer has all of that down and knows where it performs best as far as color management. Especially if you have a nicer printer, let the printer do the work. That's its job. Now, you can adjust the brightness and the contrast if you'd like. I, you know, if you edit it right, then you probably don't need to mess with this much. However, I will say that sometimes you need to add just a little bit of brightness to get the photo, you know, depending on the scene or the photo that you're, you're dealing with, you may need to add just a little bit. And that's it. You know, if you click printer, it's just going to take you to that one screen. You've already done that. So now it's time to click print. And when you click print, the printer comes to life. It's going to ask you about the paper. 
And that is the paper that's loaded. Click OK. I had the paper in the top uh, tray and the finished side of the paper is facing me. And it's gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. I don't sell that many prints. Uh, you know, I have, I think six or so available on my website. If you wanna to go to www.mikewilly.com, link is down in the video description. Uh, you can see the prints that I actually have for sale and actually haven't updated it for a couple of months, but those are the prints that I will print for people if they, you know, if they want it. And, you know, I, I enjoy seeing a physical print because when you put that physical print in front of you, you, you see so much more than when it's on your computer screen. You really do. And that's a wrap. This photo is ready to go into a frame on the wall to a friend, to a family member, for sale, whatever. It's ready for business and it is a professional quality photo. In fact, I've gotten a lot of photos from professional mail photo, you know, services that were nowhere near this good. I hope you got something out of this video, maybe inspire you to do a little more printing of your work and show you that it's easy. It's really easy. Guys, I'd appreciate it if you do me a favor. YouTube channels grow by your feedback. So if you'll share the video with your family and friends, like it, leave a comment down below. All of that helps YouTube know that this video is in demand and it's gonna help me grow the channel, reach more people and inspire them. You guys have an awesome week and I can't wait to talk to you on the next video.